Distinguished Chief Guest, Padma Bhushan, Sri N. R. Narayan Murthy, Chairman Infosys Technologies, Sri V. V. R. Mohan Reddy, Chairman Board of Governors, IIT Hyderabad, and Chairman and in MD, Infotech Enterprises, Members of the Board of Governors of IIT Hyderabad, Members of the Senate of IIT Hyderabad, Distinguished guests and dignitaries in the audience, faculty of IIT Hyderabad, staff of IIT Hyderabad, my dear graduating students, their parents, and the current students of IIT Hyderabad. On behalf of Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad, I have the immense pleasure in welcoming you to the second convocation of the institute. The second convocation is very special one since we will be graduating our first batch of PhD students. I and IIT Hyderabad fraternity are very much honored to have Mr. Narayan Murthy as the chief guest for the second convocation of IIT Hyderabad. Mr. Mr. Narayan Murthy hardly needs any introduction. We are well aware of the many outstanding achievements, starting Infosys, taking it to dizzy heights and internationally making it the most respected name among Indian industries. To me, the bigger contribution is what he has inspired among the youth of India. He instilled among the Indian youth confidence. He instilled among Indian youth, yes we can. He instilled among the youth the belief that they can take on the world and not only in technology but any aspect and come out a winner. Most importantly, he inculcated among the youth the values of integrity and ethics, values very vital in today's times. No wonder he is the most respected industry icon for the youth of India. Sir, by accepting to be the chief guest of the second convocation of IIT Hyderabad, you are now a member of the IIT Hyderabad fraternity and we are indeed privileged and honored. We are very thankful and indebted to Sri VVR Mohan Reddy, Founder, Managing Director and Chairman Infotech Enterprises and Distinguished Alumnus of IIT Kanpur as Chairman of IIT Hyderabad Board of Governors. His visionary leadership is of utmost value to us. Mr. Reddy is also an entrepreneur who pioneered one of the leading engineering software company. His passion for entrepreneurship is helping us in creating an entrepreneurial ecosystem at IIT Hyderabad which will not just benefit the students and faculty of IIT Hyderabad but the nation as a whole. We are also privileged to have a visionary and tremendously supportive board of governors. This is a great privilege and honor for IIT Hyderabad. We are very thankful to the members of the board of governors for guidance and active support in taking IIT Hyderabad to greater heights. I take this opportunity to thank the Ministry of Human Resource Development for their continued support to enhance the programs and infrastructure of the institute. Though we are young, they have reposed tremendous faith in us. Their excellent support for the growth of this institute has enabled us to reach the quality and scale of operations, perhaps unprecedented for a five-year-old institute. With MHRD's support, IITH has state-of-the-art research laboratories in almost all disciplines. Moreover, with MHRD's support and guidance, cutting research areas. And these are next generation communication technologies, design and manufacturing, nanoscience and nanotechnology, sustainable development, energy and environment. And we plan to set up joint centers in all these five areas. With the joint effort, we are confident that we will make an international impact in all these areas. I take this opportunity to thank Ordnance Factory data for allowing us to make that campus the home of IIT Hyderabad, our home. It is IIT Hyderabad's good fortune that we are housed in this beautiful green and serene campus. We are extremely thankful to ODM for giving us complete infrastructural support and providing us all the needed help to grow at a very rapid pace. As you are aware, IIT Hyderabad started functioning in August 2008 with the first batch of 120 students, 40 in computer science and engineering, 40 in electrical engineering, 40 in mechanical engineering. Since 2008, we have come a very long way. 
Today, we have 110 faculty members across 12 departments, a total student strength of 1,363, of which 671 students are BTEC students, seven in seven engineering departments, 77 MSc students in physics, chemistry, and mathematics, 319 MTech students in eight engineering departments, 10 MPhil students in liberal arts, and 287 PhD students across all departments. We have 748 UG students and 615 PG students, giving us a UG to PG ratio of 55 to 45. Our target is equal number of UGs and equal number of PGs. In today's convocation, we are giving 195 degrees, 113 BTECs, 20 MSc, 59 MTECs, and 3 PhDs. This is the beginning of graduating PhDs from IIT Hyderabad. In fact, it is expected that in steady state, on an average, every faculty will graduate one PhD per year. This way, we will be a significant contributor to the target set by the Kapodkar Committee for graduating 10,000 PhDs from IIT by 2022. Research is an integral part of IITH's ecosystem. As I have said before, R&D has become a culture among the faculty and students of IIT Hyderabad. Among, just to give an example, among the current 42 students graduating in the electrical engineering department, 21 of them have publications in peer review international and national conferences. This, half, this is half the class. This is a unique distinction and as a director, I didn't contribute much but I am extremely proud of it. We have nearly 120 sponsored research projects and consultancy projects. An average of more than one per faculty. These projects are from national and international agencies with a sanction amount of approximately 69 crores. In the last year, that is 2012-2013, IITH faculty and students published over 130 journal papers in peer-reviewed international journals and conference journals. And nearly 100 papers in peer-reviewed international conferences. We have state-of-the-art research centers. One on Nano X, which was inaugurated by Professor CNR Rao more than a year ago. One on X materials, the other one on cyber physical systems, and of course one on high performance computing. There are two flagship projects at IIT Hyderabad. One as part of a Japan collaboration on information networks for natural disaster mitigation and recovery. And the other funded by Department of Electrical Electronics and Information Technology on cyber physical systems. Our research work is not just confined to laboratories. We have active collaboration with many industries in India and overseas. We have introduced some innovations in teaching. For the first time, the concept of fractional credit courses was introduced by IIT Hyderabad. Essentially, this modularizes the teaching program and helps to increase industry interactions. In fractional credit scheme, instead of just three credits courses, one has 0.5, 1, 1 1.5 credit and so on all the way up to 3 credits. We believe IITH students have benefited a lot from this innovation and by having the opportunity to learn cutting edge subjects and that too from practicing engineers well versed with ground realities. This year we have taken the concept of fractional credit courses even further and have developed what we term as the fractal academic program. To our knowledge this is the first time in any institute in the world. This program creates a core course which has a lot of breadth of one credits each and depth courses of two credits. In the very first semester, the student can take significant number of departmental courses, thereby making them ready for research and innovations from an early stage. Moreover, we have introduced one credit basket of courses in what we refer to as creative arts. We believe this approach will help nurture the research spirit among the students and also provide a holistic education. More on this, of course, on our website. Let me at this stage acknowledge Professor Raj Reddy of Carnegie Mellon University for giving the core idea of fractional credit courses. I am personally indebted to him. Like some other IITs, we also offer BTEC minor and BTEC honors program. We have a unique program called BTEC minor in entrepreneurship. The unique feature of this program being that it is taught by industry leaders, like our present chairman, Sri BBR Mohan Reddy, past chairman, Sri Ajay Chaudhary, venture capitalists and entrepreneurs. 
the student then gets a real feel of what happens in the field and not simply within the walls of an academic institution. IIT Hyderabad has MOUs with leading universities like Georgia Tech, University of Virginia, Urbana, Champaign, University of Southern California, University of California, San Diego, University of Tokyo, Osaka University and many more. We have an active international collaboration. In fact, the fractional credit program has motivated faculty from US, Canada and Europe to visit IITH for short duration and offer these courses to us in cutting edge areas. IITH faculty is getting recognition. We have faculty who have become fellows of the Indian Academy of Sciences. Faculty have received the Young Scientist Award from National Academy of Sciences and INSA, Indian National Science Academy. The student activity is very vibrant at IITH. Both sports as well as cultural activities are emphasized. Elan is the cultural flagship event of the student body and Envision is fast becoming the flagship technology festival event. There are a large number of activities through numerous science and technology clubs, fine art clubs and hobbies clubs. Even on the social front, our students are very active. They teach young boys and girls in neighboring village schools and, open, and have open house wherein we invite students from neighboring schools to spend time at IITH. Our fundamental objective is to instill in these young ones the spirit of scientific inquiry. I extend my heartiest congratulations to all the graduating students. My special congratulations to those who will be receiving medals for their academic excellence and for also co-curricular activities. Do remember, you are very special to us. You will always occupy a very unique place in IIT Hyderabad, a place which is yours for all time to come. IIT Hyderabad is your second home and it will always be your home. You are most welcome whenever you want to visit IIT Hyderabad. My special congratulations to the pioneer batch of PhD graduates. They went through some tribulations like all pioneers do, but indeed overcame them with class. As an alumnus, you are an important stakeholder in IIT Hyderabad. We look forward to your contribution in life and also your contribution to help India become a global economic power. And this we believe will be realized through your achievements in science and technology or in entrepreneurship or a combination of all. And of course, maintaining the core values of IIT Hyderabad where ethics and integrity are at the forefront. I wish you the very best that the world has to offer. I am confident you will succeed in whatever endeavors you choose. Do choose wisely. A very simple mantra, work hard and good things will follow. My very best wishes to all of you for all your future endeavors. Jai Hind.